Hey guys, let's end this. All engine oils are the same. As long as you use the correct viscosity recommended by the car manufacturer, it doesn't matter what brand you're using. <clears throat> Wrong answer. If you have a turbocharged engine, you'll need a specially formulated motor oil. It's able to keep up with the extreme pressure, heat, and RPM. You may be driving down the road and see that you're at 3,000 RPMs, but the turbo is actually at 200,000 RPMs. Not to mention the pour point is going to be different. The pour point for each engine oil, even though you may have two brands, 5W30 could be much better for another brand. Not to mention, you also have the protection. So the zinc level will be much higher in some oils rather than others. Even though there's a set limit they're allowed to use, you would think they would use the most they can, but that's actually not the case. Yes, zinc is bad your catalytic converter but if you don't have an engine to worry about well it's not really helping you much the NOAC volatility so you'll see that the score for the NOAC volatility has greatly improved with the new API certifications but this doesn't qualify for all engine oils and guys yes you do need that lower NOAC volatility score because this really helps in turbocharged and GDI engines or just any engine in general now, it will help out with the formulation of deposits in the combustion chamber. It'll reduce that issue. You're also going to have a lot of help with a full synthetic engine oil versus a conventional oil. And if you have a turbo engine, you definitely shouldn't be using a conventional oil in the first place. Guys, the varnish is a killer when it comes to turbocharged engines. They have a thin oxidation protection test that's performed by heating the engine oil up and a metal surface. This way, they can spray the engine oil onto that surface continuously to see how much protection is given to expel the varnish. Guys, what tips can you give someone to offer better protection? You don't always have to use the most expensive oil, no doubt. And you can find a lot of these specifications up if you'll go to the websites of the engine oils and check them out. It's not like they can really lie about it. The API, American Petroleum Institute, helps us out with that issue, so we don't have to worry about none of that. One thing I will say is if you're not really changing your engine oil that often because your engine oil is too expensive, I would rather use a cheaper brand motor oil and change my oil more often than wait, say, 25,000 miles. I would prefer to change it every 5,000 miles and use a cheaper oil like SuperTech before I would using say Mobile One annual protection and then just changing it once a year. I would rather give up that higher priced oil and use the cheaper one if that's what it took for me to change it more often. Well guys, if there's anything you can offer, I would greatly appreciate your kindness. Thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto.